What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be the first episode of the new series, Detail Like a Pro. As you guys can tell from the title, today is going to be all about wheel cleaning. I'll show you all the tips and tricks and products that I use to clean the wheels. As you can see, mine is extremely dirty at the moment. I haven't washed the car since German versus Jap. So it's been three or four weeks without washing the car. German versus Jap was the 7th of July. It's now the last week of July. So I think it's three weeks. Either way, three or four weeks. But I tried to get the wheels as dirty as possible so I can show you guys the best results because my wheels are ceramic coated so it's a lot easier for me to clean them than it will be for you, for you guys without the ceramic coating. First off I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need to wash your wheels. I've got three brushes here. This is the, the most commonly used ones. This one I use for, for very dirty wheels. These bristles are a bit more aggressive. Then this one with my ceramic coated wheels, I prefer to use this one with the soft bristles because like I mentioned earlier, it's extremely easy to clean my wheels. And then you've also got this one for cars with big brakes or small rims where the caliper sits extremely close to the barrel of the wheel. Then you'll be wanting to use the small brush. As you can see, you'll get in a lot easier with a small brush than with a big one. So that's the three different brushes. I'll be using this one to clean mine. And then next up, I'm using a 50-50 mixture of all-purpose cleaner, all-purpose cleaner with water and for the actual wheels itself I use iron out. That's the preferred product for me to, to clean wheels. I'll have everything down, linked down below, all the products that I use. I will have it in the description box down below with links where you guys can purchase them. For the wheel cleaning I like to keep my car raised up as you know it's on back so I like to keep it raised up so I can wash the fenders as well while cleaning the wheels. I'll spray the all-purpose cleaner inside the fender and on the tire and on the actual rim itself. I'll spray the iron out. Other than the big brushes and the products that we are going to use, I also use a, a wash mitt. Obviously I've got a separate one for the wheels and the body. So this one is for wheels only. And then I've also got this a nice Valet Pro soft bristle brush. This is what I use to clean the tires. On my car it's not really necessary because the tires, the sidewall is so small but on the other cars with the larger sidewall I definitely need this but I'll still clean mine just to show you guys for the sake of showing. So I'm going to start off, I'll spray this on the wheel. You want to let it sit for a couple of minutes and you want to make sure that you get coverage in the barrel as well and on the brake caliper because we'll use the big brush to clean the brake caliper while cleaning the barrel. So I'm going to start off by spraying this and then I'll move over to the, to the all-purpose cleaner after that. You'll see as it gets in contact with the contamination it'll turn purple. I'm not sure on my wheels how purple they will turn but Let's see. I hope you guys can pick this up on camera, but you can see it's really starting to turn purple now. You don't want to let this stuff dry on your wheels, but I'm still going to start with cleaning the, the barrels. I'll just take my brush and clean them. Mine are fairly clean, so we don't have to scrub too much on the barrels. Next up, I'll use this brush to clean the tire. And then lastly, we're going to move on to the actual rim itself. I'll again use this brush and start by cleaning the barrel. Mm. 
when I get to the caliper, I'll just move the brush over and touch the caliper with it as well to make sure that the caliper gets cleaned up while I'm working there. And you always want to start your way from the top down. Uh, there's no point in cleaning up here and then coming back with a dirty, with a dirty brush. So you want to work from the top down when you clean the wheels. So that's it. Once the barrels are cleaned, I'll use this brush to clean inside the lug nuts with the plugs on. I'll clean the the center Audi badge with it and then I'm going to use my actual wash mitt and just make sure that I get the entire face of the rim cleaned up nicely so once we get to the center I'm gonna go back to the top on this end. And then once that's done, I'll just go over the entire face of the wheel to make sure that it is sorted out. Then we're gonna use the high pressure and rinse it off. And that's it for the first wheel then. So that's the first wheel cleaned with the iron out product which is this that I showed you the iron out you really want to rinse the wheel nicely if any of the lug nuts or the center cap has some product in it and it drips off it will definitely stain your wheel so make sure that you rinse it thoroughly guys I'm quickly going to go ahead and clean all four and then I'll catch you guys once that's done and the car is washed I'll show you guys how to dry the wheels and dress the tires and clean the tires up Nicely if you can't get them cleaned up nicely with all-purpose cleaner I'll show you guys that and also how to treat the arches once that's done. So I'll catch you guys in a couple I finally got the car washed and I showed you guys how I dry the wheels as well I use a leaf blower uh, I left that link down below as well that's a bit more expensive I'm not sure that everyone will be able to acquire one but if you don't have a leaf blower you can always just use a microfiber towel to, to dry the wheels please ensure that everything that you use on the wheels is separate from the paint you don't want to to cross over the contamination from the wheels onto the paint make sure everything is separate I don't touch the paint whatsoever with anything that I use on the wheels and obviously the reason the main reason for me why I use the leaf blow on the wheels is because the gloss blacks they scratch when you just look at them so when you wash the wheel it's okay because there is lubrication but once you start drying there's absolutely no lubrication so I prefer not to to touch them when they are dry next up I'm quickly going to show you guys how to treat the wheel arches to to do a plastic treatment on them and then also how to to clean the tires but before we get to that I want to show you guys this this is the replacement tire I want to show you guys the condition of this tire as you can see it's extremely dirty and even if you put even if I'm going to put the the tire dressing on there you'll still be able to see that so I'm going to show you guys how to clean that to make sure that when you put the tire dressing on that it looks at its absolute best you can do this with your tires about once a month or so 
all the gunk that does not come off when you clean them with the all-purpose cleaner this will definitely pull it off what I'm going to use is acetone so I just use acetone on the rack and then I wipe the tire I normally use an old rack because it pulls a lot of dirt off as you can see I have done this a couple of times so I do it with all the clients cars in fact just to ensure that the tire is as clean as I can get it So I cleaned up the tire with acetone, you can do, I just did two laps now, but you can do as many laps as you want around the tire until it stops pulling off the dirt. So use a clean section, pull off the dirt, move on to a clean section, pull off the dirt un until you can see that it stops pulling off dirt, then you know that you're good. So what I'm going to use for the, for the tires and the arches, GoPro Pill, this is the absolute best in my honest opinion. So I prefer to put the copper pole or neat onto the tire. I leave it for about 30 minutes to an hour for it to soak in. And then I'll come around the vehicle with a dry microfiber, wipe all the tires clean just to ensure that the tires are dry to the touch and it doesn't splatter onto the car. And then for the wheel arches, what I use is copper pole diluted. The dilution ratio is on the back of the bottle when you buy it. So all I'll do with the wheel arches is I'll literally just spray this in there. I'll spray it in there and I'll let it sit and in about 10-15 minutes the arches will be perfectly perfectly dressed and normally I would run around and do all of the bottom plastics when I do the arches as well I would obviously wipe the arches with the microfiber when I do them so I'm quickly going to to dress the tires and then I'll catch you guys once I'm done with that. This is the final product of the wheels being cleaned and the tires cleaned and dressed. So if you guys have any questions regarding cleaning the wheels, uh, drop a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you guys. Obviously if your wheel arches and your brakes are very dirty you might have to do the process twice or even three times or even pull the wheels off for me it's obviously easy since my stuff is clean and ceramic coated so just keep that in mind when you guys try to do this and like i say if you guys have any questions drop a comment down below i will have all the products and everything linked so you guys can purchase and use exactly the stuff that i use for my wheels and that's going to be it for the first video i hope you guys enjoyed it I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and reflect your passion.